Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we are going to be customizing and reviewing the currently unreleased Progen Emerus. Like I said, currently unreleased at the time of recording this video. This is Drip Feed DLC from the Casino and Resort DLC. And as far as I'm aware, this Progen Emerus, when it is released, is going to cost $2.75 million. So it's going to be very very expensive but as you can see man this is unique as hell look at that door what the hell man <laughs> this looks awesome this really really does look cool um we were saturated by supercars at one point in gta and i was a little bit fed up with them um but this i don't know this kind of takes a new edge on it and i think it looks fucking amazing that looks really really good um even that spoiler that even that spoiler sticks out it still looks really really cool and i love the the way the side of this car looks with the see-through door and man it just looks i'm just actually really impressed with the way this looks because a lot of the supercars look pretty much the same it looks like it's got quite a nice interior in there as well wow so uh yeah first impressions i'm really really happy with it uh, but we are going to start this build as always with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes, engine. We've got a level 4 engine upgrade. Then we've got the exhaust. So we've got the boxed exhaust, which actually fit quite nicely in the recesses that are there already. Then we've got the split box, which again fits nicely where they're supposed to be. Same again with the twin bore. Uh, the sectioned exhaust. They actually even look quite good in there as well. And then we've got the radial exhaust, so what I say. But yeah, man, all of them, all the options look pretty sweet. Uh, my favourite were these twin box. So we're going to go with the twin box. Then we've got a grill option. All right. Okay, so this is actually quite nice to see where it's actually changing the look of the front of the car. Uh, even though it's not crazy radical changes, it actually looks different, which is nice. Because a lot of the vehicles that I've customised already out of this DLC, there aren't any... Um, like major changes to any of the bumpers but this one actually looks different you know with the options which is cool and I think I'm going to go full carbon so I'm going to go with a carbon sports split I think that looks pretty sweet going to skip the horn headlights we're going to get the Xeon headlights uh, for the livery uh, again we've got another DLC car with lots of liveries which is good to see because obviously then it brings individuality into the builds uh, some people like you know this sort of stuff and then other people like the racing liveries you know whereas on a supercar I think racing liveries look okay in moderation and this one actually is a perfect example of what I actually like with a racing livery on a supercar it's it's nice it's got a simplistic it's got some nice um, you know just where the number is it's got a little um, the sponsor there at the back. It's not saturated with sponsors, which is pretty sweet. That's the sort of racing livery I like. This one, on the other hand, <laughs> takes takes the biscuit, and I don't really I don't really like that sort of thing. Uh, but obviously, some people do. But that's not my kind of deal. That actually looks quite cool. You know, I think that looks pretty sweet. It's not as simplistic as I actually like, but I like the hexagons on it. It looks really, really cool. Actually, I think you could do some really nice things with that. Um, so yeah, my two favourites were this one, the race delivery, and then the hexagon livery as well. Yeah man, that looks fucking pretty cool. I thought I'm going to go with a hexagon blue, that looks awesome. So we do get an option to change the mirrors as well, which is cool. Um, but you know, it's nothing crazy, what the fuck. Uh, we are going to go carbon, why the hell not, it matches my splitter then, at least. <laughs> uh, we're going to skip the plate, go to the respray, we are going to go primary colour, metallic, I don't know if it's going to interfere with the livery. Wow. Wow. Now in black metallic. That looks ma amazing. That looks amazing. Oh man. I'm really, really liking that. Yeah, we're going to go black metallic. For secondary, uh, we're going to go metallic again. What's the, 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 what does that change? I don't even know what that changes, man. What the fuck? You see anything changing? Because I don't. We're in white. No. Nope. Oh, wow. what the fuck? Well, I don't know what it changes, so we're just going to stay black metallic for the secondary colour. Trim colour? We're going to have to have a blue. Aren't we? But it's like, oh, is that all? It don't even change the dashboard or anything, man. It literally just changes the stitching. Man, that sucks. 
What the fuck? But anyway, we're going to go with some sort of uh, lightning blue or whatever it is. What is it? Surf blue? No. Racing blue? No. Ultra blue. Ultra blue. That's the one we want to go with. So we're going to go ultra blue for the trim color. Then we've got a roof option. Ah, there we go. Primary color. This is the secondary. So, uh, yeah, if you were to change that up, obviously, it would change the roof. But that looks awesome, man, with the with the um, delivery on there. So we're just going to stay primary for that. But we will have a look at the... Oh, actually, I think carbon might actually go a little bit better because I've got it on the split. I've got it on the wing mirrors. Hmm. I think maybe carbon. But I don't know. The primary looks so good. Nah, we're going to stay primary for the roof. Then we've got the side skirt. So we've got primary, secondary, uh, carbon, primary... Okay, oh, there we go, primary sports, that looks a little bit better. Should we go carbon? Nah, I don't think the carbon actually looks that nice on the side. Jesus Christ, you've got a doorstep on that one. What the hell? Yeah, I don't like the uh, the GT skirts, they, they're they a little bit too far-fetched for me. But we are going to go primary sports for the side skirt, man, that looks pretty sweet. So yeah, we're going to stick with that. Then we've got spoilers. See, the spoiler we've got as stock actually looks really cool. So, let's go. Ooh. Okay. So, if we change it to primary, obviously, you get more of a sponsor on there, which is awesome. Because I actually, for once, I'm actually really digging a race livery with sponsors. Because this just looks really fucking cool. I love it. I love the way this looks. Um, the primary sports. Oh, what's the difference? Oh, okay. So it's just the shape of the spoiler at the top, which is the difference. Other than that, ooh, <laughs> that GT wing's naughty, man. Naughty. And then the black GT street, primary street, carbon street. Oh, then we've got the aggressive spoiler. I'm not sure about them ones. They do look pretty sweet, though. Oh, I'm like I'm liking all these spoilers, man. It's gonna be a tough choice. It's gonna be a tough, tough choice. These, yeah, these aggressive street. The primary is probably my favourite one out of the aggressive. Oh, <laughs> decisions, man. Oh, I'm just gonna go with the aggressive spoiler. I think that looks awesome. I think if we go with this, it's a little bit too much with the with the livery all over it. So uh, we just get a nice little touch on the side bits here. So yeah, just gonna go normal, standard, aggressive spoiler for that one, and then we've got the transmission. We're gonna get race transmission. We are gonna get turbo tuning for the wheels. The wheels are actually quite standard, you know, nothing special, unfortunately. Um, you know, for a set of standard wheels in today's GTA, usually when you get a high-profile vehicle, especially something like this, they get some sort of mad, um, crazy, you know, stock rims. But um, yeah, these rims aren't crazy at all. So we are going to change them. We're going to go high end maybe. Mm, I don't know. I'm feeling maybe trying like an electric blue for the wheels. Not something that I do every day. You know, usually I, I keep it quite standard, quite classy. Well, I like to think so anyway. Um, I think maybe we'll go with something like the solar. So the chrome on the like the majority of it is chrome, and then if we change the color of it, it is just going to be the inside of the wheel, just like that. So if we can find a blue, a bright blue, is it bright blue, or was it more of like a baby blue? I think it's more of a baby blue, to be honest. I don't know, it's a tough one. No, actually, no, it's got to be the fluorescent blue, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely fluorescent blue. We're going to go with that. This is going to look nuts, this fucking car is, man. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got tyres, tyre enhancements. I've already got the bulletproof tyres enabled. So to finish off the build, we are going to go light smoke window tint. Let's get out on the streets, man. Let's have a little peep at this. Out in the daylight of Ellis. <laughs> it does look really good, man. Really, really good. Like I said, I'm not usually one for liveries, especially race liveries. I'm definitely not one for jazzing up the wheels like that. But I think it works. It really does work on this car. And uh, for $2.75 million, you need to have it work. And it looks really, really good. 
I'm actually really impressed with it for a supercar and GTA. It's not, you know, I would have thought I'd have done everything by now, but no, still pulling it out of the bag. I really, just really like this livery. I think it looks fucking awesome. That's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, obviously, but I think it looks amazing. And this is going to be quick. And you can see that just from going in a straight line, it is really fast. Um, quite talky. So uh, you will get a little bit of wheel spin off the line. But it's definitely going to make up for that. It's nothing, you know, it's nothing excessive. You know, it's not anything, it's every, it's, you know, it's nothing you can't handle, at least. Um, whoa, and it's really light on the steering. And it's, the handling's actually really good as well. I thought for a moment I was going to lose it, but nah, it's stuck in there. Really stuck to the ground and it, it pulled it back. So um, even though this car is very expensive, I'm really impressed with the customization on it because usually you, you can't do anything to supercars. So I'm really happy with the customization. Really happy with how fast it is as well in a straight line. And I'm really happy with the handling. Um, so this is definitely going to be a winner in my opinion. It's definitely one you'd want to go out and purchase um, just because it looks nice. Customization's fucking pretty good. Um, the speed is fast. And the handling is really, really good. It just sticks into them corners. Look at that. With ease, man. With ease. With ease. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this car, man. So, um, highly recommend it if you got the money. Like I said, it is very expensive. So, uh, you might have to think about it before you buy it. But I'd highly suggest it. You've, if you've got money to burn, go grab it, man. Definitely go and grab the Progen Emirates. Because it's definitely going to be one that's going to be high on the list especially if you want it, if you want it for races i think it's going to be actually be really good in races um but don't quote me on that obviously there's other youtubers out there that break it down a little bit better a little bit more uh in the speed categories and the speed aspect of the cars but i've got a hundred this is going to be up in the top five of supercars at least it's got to be it's got to be um it feels fast the handling is definitely there and um, yeah, I'm really impressed with it. So highly recommended. So on that note, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 videos like this. And until next time, I'm out. Adios.